solving this problem, so we're going to distribute the 1. So we end up with 1 and then plus tangent squared theta um, and then minus sine squared theta plus, actually it's going to be minus because I'm using the sine, minus sine squared theta times sine squared theta over cosine squared theta. All right. Um, Let's see here. So one plus sine squared theta over cosine squared theta minus sine squared theta time minus sine raised to the fourth theta over cosine squared theta. So if we keep going here, um, We can pick the common denominator as cosine squared theta, so we get one plus uh, sine squared theta cosine squared theta. Oh, oops. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, I'm gonna combine one minus sine squared theta and I have plus sine squared theta over cosine squared theta minus sine squared theta, or sine to the fourth theta over cosine squared theta. So this becomes cosine squared theta. And on the right here, this becomes, uh, I'm gonna combine these so I get sine squared theta quantity one minus sine squared theta over cosine squared theta and this is a property here. One minus sine squared theta is the equivalent of cosine squared theta. So I'm gonna move this up here. Um, I get cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta times cosine squared theta over cosine squared theta. Those cancel off and we're left with cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta. And all this is simply equal to one. And that's how you solve that. All right, I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.